and buttons and engine starts and everything else. It's got the bat eye switch, the detect the scope over there. kinds of buttons and lights and horns and stereo system and custom windshield look at this windshield Total so welcome to another episode of junkyards and barn finds with Sean and I'm Sean <laughs> Ideal Classic Cars, it's a really cool place. You can come in and they have all kinds of collector cars, all kinds of TV show cars. Um, everything's for sale. So if you see something you want here, they tell me everything that I see is for sale. So when you walk in, you're greeted by the superheroes. Love the couches. So you have a Batman couch, the monkey mobile. This is the GTO from the monkeys, George Barris. So we got the monkey mobile here, George Barris inspired, or George Barris built. See where it says gate 40 so that would probably be to get on the um, movie set campus but there's the monkey's car look at that I love in the back how they took the seats out and then they or took the trunk out and they put a seat in the in the trunk and the other funny thing is, I don't think this is a, with this blower, this blower is not, I don't think, and this is just, you guys can correct me if you're wrong, but if you look closely, I don't think this blower is actually connected to the engine. I think that's just like a big air cleaner, which would make sense because if it was a big air cleaner, that car they could drive and it really wouldn't, um, it wouldn't be too big of a deal. You know, get good gas mileage would be dependable, a lot more dependable than having a 671 blower sticking on the hood. And you don't see any of the belts and stuff, so everything is hidden. So I would almost imagine that it's probably only an air cleaner. And then this here is the Green Hornet car. Now, this, I believe, may only be from the movie. I don't know if this is from the TV show or the movie, but it's got the missiles down there. The guns, 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 guns. Now we have some props from Star Wars. I don't know if these are actual ones used in a movie or if they are actually um, props that they made, but they look like movie props. So I don't know if these are actually from the movie set or not. Um, an R2-D2 unit. Like I said, I don't know if they are from uh, Universal Studios, I don't know if they're from the, the park or if they're actually from the movie. I don't know where the props came from. And then you got Herbie the Love Bug over here. So, many of you guys don't know who Herbie is, but this is the Love Bug that came alive. And then you've got the Beverly Hills car. So 
or Beverly Hillbillies. That is the Beverly Hillbillies car. Lumber from Montana. Got everybody in it, but there's Jethro. Don't know what engine it has in there. And then this is a life-size Cars car. So that's the movie Cars, and this is the life-size, real life-size light year tires. Light year tires. Revolting. All the piston cup from the race piston cup. Look at all the stickers. Medicated Rusty's bumper ointment. And then you've got one of the kit cars. I don't know if this is one of the originals. I've seen a couple people on uh, Jay Leno that have original kits. I'm, this may be one of the original kit cars. A lot of this stuff comes from the theme parks over in Orlando, which is about an hour from here. So this is kit. If you look, it says Industries on the seat. If we can get over into that. So you've got Knight Industries on the seat, and the dashboard that you have there is just a little bit uh, different than the stock, and it's got the steering column. And then a little tow truck. This is just a golf cart tow truck. It's obviously not the one tow truck. And then we've got one of the Jeeps from Jurassic Park right here with of course some of the dinosaurs so they actually do a really nice job if I pan around here so you can see all the cars are here on display so you can see all the cars so they do a pretty nice job of displaying them got one of the Batmobiles, one of the original Batmobiles. So this Batmobile is the original, not the Tim Burton or any of the 1980s. This is the 1950s Batmobile right here. It's got your jet blast. It's got the parachutes. The cool exhaust, which I don't understand if it has this exhaust, why does it need the jet exhaust? I don't know. You got your bat ray projector, your anti theft activator, the emergency bat turn lever, you've got your bat extinguisher. This is a 1966 version of the Batmobile. It's got tons of gauges and buttons and engine starts and everything else. It's got the bat eye switch, the detect the scope over there. And we've just got all kinds of buttons and lights and horns and stereo system. And custom windshield, look at this windshield, totally custom. And then here's the engine to this. And is this a jet engine? It looks like a small type of jet engine or turbo engine. I'm not sure what it actually has. The wheels have the, the bat thing on. There you go. So that is a real bat mobile right there, right? Real Batmobile. And the door locked right here. It even has a door lock. And I'm wondering, it has no windows, so how do you, what happens if you lock the door, if you lock yourself out, I don't know. But it's a very, very cool car to see. And you got a Bat Spotlight, which is $1,500 if you want one. So that's the thing, it's a museum where you can come up and you can buy the stuff, everything you see. 
and uh, that's pretty cool so they have a YouTube channel and we'll put a link to that in our description and other than that thanks for watching if you like this kind of thing please let me know if you don't like this kind of thing please let me know which I'm sure you all will if you don't but anyway please subscribe thanks for watching and uh, hi so do you think that they should subscribe for this video April definitely for this one you didn't say you're maybe just for this one. Or should I say? No. Nah. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. And uh, we'll look for you soon.